Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. It was another day, it was another dramatic one for Undisputed, with the negotiations continuing a deal yet to be officially done, but Tyson Fury spraying some abuse across the place at Alexander Usyk, at his manager Alexander Krasjuk, and generally being um, quite vocal on social media. But then he put out a, a, a clip on Instagram saying it was time to go dark and focus on his training camp. So that's where we'll start. Hi guys, as fun as it's been over the last few days, terrorising Usyk and his team. Tomorrow I'm going to knuckle down into training camp and I'll be doing a blackout as we always do on social media. Uh, now we'll be running my Instagram account, keeping you all updated on my training progress and everything's going. April 29th is definitely a worker. I will see you all on the mic. Tune in or be there and be square. This is the biggest event in British boxing history. Uh, the fight of the century, two undefeated world heavyweight champions throwing down to see who is the number one in the division. The undisputed world heavyweight championship on the line. Peace out. Good training to Usek. May the best man win. Get on! So Fury seeming pretty reasonable, actually. But then he went into a bit of a rant. Here we go. I can't wait! I'm in the best shape of my life! I'm ready to rock and roll! I wish it was this weekend! Who said you daffy teeth? Ugly, bog-eyed, rabbit, cat! Ugly piece of sh You are getting knocked the out! And for all the haters out there as well, a massive for you! Because they got 70% of the Undisputed Heavyweight Championship! Simon Jordan, you a little bitch! No wonder you lost 100 million, bitch! Wrong business, you little sausage! Joe Parker, we cannot wait! Can't wait! Cruiserweights are getting smashed! Christie's the strongest I've ever been! He's a monster! I'm a f***ing monster! Ah! Cruiserweights are getting demolished! Get up! So not wanting just to leave it at Alexander Usyk for the name calling, he lays into Alexander Krasjuk, who is Usyk's promoter. Usex manager, you sausage. Borat wants his voice back, you bum. You get what you're getting, don't worry. You're the worst manager in history. You got your fighter to accept 30%, you bum dosser. <laughs> you're not that clever, are you, you bum? You got outwitted by a man who never went to school in his life. Sausage. Keep talking, your boy's going to get smashed and he's going to be beltless like the other bum, AJ. Come on! Rule Britannia, mother and Fury, he began his training camp earlier this week, and he's making some big claims about how it's going. Second session of the day finished. Brutalized. Second session of the day. I got some big, 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 big news to announce. Uh, I'm about to bring in my sparring partner, Josh, the Tartan Tornado Taylor. He's coming in next week to, uh, to start sparring. For the bitch Usak. Cannot wait. Training camp's going fantastic. I can't remember in recent memory ever having a better camp. Absolutely on fire! So some interesting comments there. And you might have noted um, Joseph Parker, who's an orthodox fighter who's in his camp. He's there holding the water bottle for Tyson Fury. Apparently Josh Taylor, the 140-pounder, coming into training camp for some work. Uh, maybe it's to help Fury acclimate to the speed, uh, get someone who's a little quicker than Usyk. So then Fury is uh, sort of adept at actually you know dealing with what's in front of him and i actually think josh taylor probably could be coming in because he has actually been in a camp previously giving tyson fury a little bit of work to the body there's a clip that was floating around so i mean this whole thing about the best camp ever it's only been going for a couple of days and his head trainer's not even there yet currently working with lawrence acoli so april the 29th it's certainly a question if it's going ahead but one man who seemingly is a bit fed up is his respective opponent, Alexander Usyk. So he's taken to his social media with this clip. Greedy belly. Rematch clothes come from your side, not mine. Stop whining and ducking. Be a man. In the contract, 
or vacate the belt. I need and dispute it. And not to play your stupid games. And Team Usyk, so you've got a situation they're saying, look, if the fight date moves, then the split is 50-50. And bearing in mind it's the middle of March now, we're talking six weeks away for an undisputed fight. It is cutting things a little bit uh, close. And you have had um, Tyson Fury's promoter Frank Warren again come out for the second or third day in a row saying, look, some of these issues, you know, they're not huge. We can work through them. Although Alexander Usyk, you know, saying, look, Tyson Fury was the one that wanted the rematch. And now he's saying there will be no rematch. So, you know, get your stuff together. But in terms of the negotiations and what's going on, you've got Alexander Krasiuk saying the negotiations now go live on Instagram. Instagram. So we see both fighters exchanging messages. We're expecting to get some basic agreement with the terms and things like that, but it's still pending. And remembering, I'll just jump in there. They told the WBA they had agreed terms. So clearly they were either lying or that this is a big elaborate ruse where we're going to have a situation, the fight's announced in a couple of days, uh, a little bit of a press junket, and then they go into training camp for what is probably going to be the biggest fight in the heavyweight division of the year and possibly the sport for this year. So Crazy York continues, we've been negotiating for so many months. We went through all the small issues, big issues, large issues, whatever. So it's all done already. It's been done actually several weeks ago. But the one thing that was pending was Tyson's consent, which is still pending, though he claims he's ready and pretends he's training. However, if the fight date moves to Fury's inability or unwillingness to move ahead, then Usyk is no longer willing to accept a split of 70-30. We never mention anything like June or August. It's never been under discussion. Usyk was very clear in his message. April 29, I accept 70-30. Krasiuk explained. And he continues, Igis Klimas yesterday came out on Twitter saying that if it moves just one day, then it's going to be 50-50 again. I'm not really confident that this fight is going to happen on April 29. I will be surprised if it takes place. But if it takes place, I will be really happy because this is the biggest thing Usyk wants, the baddest thing he wants in his life, to unify all the belts in the heavyweight division, the second division in his career. So Team Usyk not playing around. They want to hold Tyson Fury and Frank Warren, Bob Arum of top rank to April the 29th. Is it possible? Is everything, you know, ready to go where they can hit the go button for it to still continue? I mean, I think we know to some extent both fighters have been training and taking over and getting in some work, despite Fury claiming that he hasn't been. Frank Warren directly contradicted that um, just a day or so ago, saying he's been keeping himself in tip-top shape, knowing that this fight is coming up. So it's a big logistical exercise, you know, 90-odd thousand for a fight like this. And if it does shift, you'd have to imagine Frank Warren could be on the hook for a decent deposit, whatever he's uh, put down to secure the, the stadium for that date. I'm sure he wants to keep it too. He's remaining optimistic, but it seems the Usyk camp is a little bit of a question mark on whether Tyson Fury wants it. They're saying it's all on Tyson Fury who keeps shifting things. But I guess you have to give uh, um, Tyson Fury some credit if it happens on April 29th, and he always intended for it to happen on that date, and he managed to finesse them for 70 percent well he's the one that outsmarted them there but if it does move then there will be people with the knives out saying fury doesn't want the fight what do you make of uh, Usyk, his team the comments and what do you make of uh, tyson fury going dark for training camp now off social media but also uh, spraying everyone he could before he went uh, silent drop a comment loud and often hit like hit subscribe follow me on twitter boxing underscore squared i'm out